Hi guys, it's Ronnie and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I like to do crochet. I like to talk about my hobbies and just various topics related to like hobbying and crafting. After my last video celebrating 10 years on YouTube, at the very end of it, I sort of got a little existential about what I wanna do here on YouTube. And honestly, I think at this point, I wanna go back to my roots and I just wanna upload things that I care about uploading. So more than likely there won't be weekly uploads anymore, it'll just be kinda sporadic and I know that's not like the best thing to do if you wanna grow on YouTube, but again, I wanna go back to my roots. And my roots on YouTube are really just treating it as a space where I can just share things that I really wanna share. And today I wanted to share all of the crochet stuff that I've made, or at least crochet clothing and accessories that I've made that I haven't really shared. If you follow my Instagram where I post crochet stuff and it's sort of like where I post about my Etsy shop, you'll like see some of this stuff, maybe, kinda depends on what it is, but I really just don't share a lot of stuff that I either don't sell or things that I've made for a tutorial. But for the most part, I just don't really share a lot. So I thought that I would do that today, specifically through sort of a fashion lookbook kind of vibe. But without further ado, let's get into some outfits that I made and just like the different pieces I have. So to create the outfits today, I'm using one of those digital closet apps where you can take photos of your of your closet of your different clothing items and then you can sort of put them together in different outfits different lookbooks and it sort of reminds me of if anyone remembers like polyvore polyvore i don't remember i don't know how to pronounce it but like if you remember what those pictures looked like, like you know them immediately. Like they are very distinct photos of like sort of collages that people would make for outfits. And I, I miss that part of the internet. I miss that time in the internet when people just like made stuff. Like you can make little collages of, of things and people weren't like, that's mine. Like I have to call it and make money from it. Like no. You could just make an outfit, nobody cared. Either way, I'm using one of those apps for this, so I'm gonna show you the outfit that I created on the app, and then I'm also gonna show you the actual outfit, probably side by side, just because it's easier. Because I really do, I think it's fun. Like, you get to treat your wardrobe like a little collage app. And as someone who grew up playing Barbie fashion show, it's, it's the stuff. I'm glad that technology has progressed to a point where I can now loop back to my childhood and do fun things that I used to do then. The first outfit that I made stars this little cardigan. You can't even see it now because it fell off of the hook. Anyway, it's this cute brown and beige cardigan with these, with the sleeves being patchwork and then there's a bear on the back. I love this so much. I didn't wear it for the longest time because I didn't have like the, I, di I didn't like the way that it fit at first, but then I fixed it and now I'm like excited to wear it when it gets cold outside. This is made from like your regular old acrylic yarn, like medium weight yarn. So it's very like crafty feeling, but it's super warm cause it's acrylic. And it will, it's, it, it, acrylic will keep you warm, okay? It'll keep the heat in, but it's very heavy. But if I wanted to pair it for like, let's say a, a cool day out, like let's say it's autumn, I'm gonna be wearing this, you know what I mean? Or if it's spring and it's gonna get cold at night and I'm gonna be out for most of the day, this is, this is it. I love this black dress because it could easily be like super elegant but also be super casual if you just pair something like this cardigan with it. And I'm pairing my favorite little bag that I'm using right now. You can take the little like clip on side things, you can take them off and so it can just be like a little bag you can carry and it's the perfect size for like a little like carry on makeup sort of thing. So if you were going to have like a makeup bag or something that you need to put in a tote bag, you could easily transfer it to that. Or if you wanted to just, I put all of my important things, that's why it has so many dangly things on it, but I love it so much. There's enough room in it 
and it's just it's a cute little bag I love this bag <laughs> And I just have these crisscross sandals that I've had for a few years. They're super cute. There's like a tiny wedge on it. And yeah, they're a little, they're a little small, but they're, they still work. The next one is a super simple one. And I had trouble finding things to pair with it just because it says it all. And it is this dress that's in this like dusty purple almost. Like it's not quite dusty rose cause it's not like pink enough, but it's purpley. So I don't know what you call this color, but it's cute and I like it. And this is the first dress I've ever made. I made this literally using like Dollar Tree, the dollar store yarn, this whole thing. They had some really good yarn at one point, so like don't even knock them because I had planned on making something else with all the yarn that I'd bought and then I just didn't end up making that. I didn't want to anymore. So I was like, I think I have enough to make a dress and that is exactly what I did. And it's great because these straps will hold. They're little straps, but I, I'm a part of the big booby club and um, we don't go for any of that nonsense with just like one chain. Don't do that. Don't do a chain. If you're gonna do a tiny little strap, do something that's like a, a foundationless chain. So with this dress, I decided to pair sandals with it with a little heel. It's kind of just these nude type of sandals. I think they go really well with the color, but I also wanted to have something underneath it. I wanted to like add something to it and I didn't want to cover up the little bows that you can tie on it. So I decided to put something under it. And I've done this before where you just put like a sheer mesh sort of top underneath something that's like strappy or strapless something like that just to add that extra coverage and also just like a nice little layering piece and I love this one specifically because it's super soft and it's really stretchy so I have found that some mesh mesh shirts wow mesh shirts some of the mesh shirts that I've had in the past have been like really stiff and they don't stretch but this one in particular I really like for that reason that it stretches the next one is a really fun one because I think it has so much personality and you could add certain uh, accessories to it to give it more personality, like even more so because I think this is just a really fun combination of things. It's giving sort of like grungy, Mori girl kind of vibes to me and this one features a few different pieces that I crocheted. Starting from the bottom, I have these like brown sort of, they're not clogs, but they're these brown shoes that I just love so much. They they give me like, they're kind of almost loafery, but not, I don't know. They're really cute though. And they go with a lot of things and they go with one of my cosplays. So I got them, okay? <laughs> I also decided to put these uh, leg warmers. I do believe I have a tutorial for the leg warmers that I use in this outfit so if you do like them I do have a tutorial for it on my channel uh, they're not very hard to make and I use the same method for some that I have later in this video but I'm wearing some leg warmers over the shoes sort of and then for the skirt it's this skirt that I found that I thrifted I, I love thrifting cool little pieces like this that could be really in any any kind of like fairy renaissance it could be somewhere in some festival right <laughs> either way i love this skirt and i finally got around to like fixing the size of the waist because it was a little too big for me but i i love this skirt it's just this nice beigey off-white color that means that you can't pair a, a stark white with it, which I think is amazing for some reason. I also, underneath, I decided to put a that light pink halter neck top that I have. It's just a halter neck. It's There's nothing super special about it. It was really the only thing that I have that's sort of lighter, uh, but you could, you could easily pair like something brown maybe underneath this because I think that would go with the shoes. And over it, I have this crocheted shrug that I made that is so soft. 
Like, I think I have a picture of the yarn before, and of course this is the after. I hope I can find it because the way that I play yarn chicken to make things is insane, and this one was one of those ones where I was scared to death that I wasn't gonna be able to make all the cute ruffles on the outside, but I did, and it's amazing. And the last little piece that I made is this bear tote bag. This bag is so great. For one, I love it because it's great to carry around a whole bunch of junk in. Like, it really is the junk sort of bag. But also, a long time ago when I was practicing in crocheting, like one of the first years that I was crocheting, I made a whole bunch of squares and I just didn't know what to do with them. They, they didn't quite make a, a vest. I didn't like the vests that were out there, and so I just, I didn't know what to do with all of these squares that I'd made of these different colors that were all the same size, so making it into a tote was like the perfect thing to do, and honestly, I think that's a great idea to do if you are a beginner, is to make a whole bunch of squares so that you can practice and then put them together to make a tote bag, because it can, tote bags can be messy, they can be a little weird, a little wonky, and I don't think anyone cares. The next outfit is like, coquette pilates princess moment i'm really into the, like the coquette pilates ballerina vibes right now like i'm really into that right now i love the soft bow sort of thing that's happening right now i know there's been some judgment of this style but honestly i think people need to address why they're judging people and not the people who are perceiving it in that way first this one is like as simple as it gets, you know what I mean? It's black cami slash tank top, spaghetti top, spaghetti strap top, depending on what you call a, a top that just has little straps on it. But needless to say, you've got a black top, you've got black leggings, and then you just add stuff to it, okay? This is a dancer or a Pilates girl, and she's going back and forth. She's got her little tote bag, and she's got matching leg warmers with her matching shrug. This shrug, she's expensive. I love this yarn. It's super soft, and it's super warm, and it's so pretty. Like, the color, I think, is so pretty, but I love this shrug, and when I was making it, my, my thoughts were, I don't know how I would ever explain how I made this, because it's not complicated, it just doesn't make any sense, and I honestly don't remember exactly how I put it together, so I don't know how helpful I would be. And lastly, the hat is a crochet item that I made. I love this hat, it's amazing for the winter, as well as it keeps out sound whenever you put like the the yarn is so thick that it keeps out extra noise so if you're somebody who maybe like you don't want to wear headphones in the winter you're more of a hat person I'd get you some thick yarn and crochet you a hat. The next outfit is another sort of simple one. This is one of those pieces that I sort of have trouble pairing with things because I love the yarn, I love what I made, but I just don't know if it's necessarily me, and so I have trouble pairing it, but this is a purple skirt. Again, I'm pretty sure this is the first, first or second skirt that I have made. I've only made a couple of skirts, so I can't remember if I made this one first or second. I wanna say, I made it second. This was one of those yarn chicken, fun little, like, I have some yarn that's the same sort of size and texture, so I wanted to put them together, and so I made this little skirt. It kind of was giving me, like, a little bit of, like, fairy Winx Club vibes when I was making it, so I really wanted to, like, emphasize that when I was doing the different stitches in it, but again, I have trouble pairing it, so it really is just like a shirt and a skirt. The next one is one that I could totally see me wearing in college because I was into those K-drama, like, business aesthetic vibes at that time, and I love this one. I made this vest in college. I have a blueberry hat, I believe, in my shop still that is made of the same material. This just navy blue, like, really thin yarn. 
this is one of those things that came out perfect. I've gone through periods of my life in the past couple of years where I've thought about getting rid of it because it didn't match my style, but I just cannot get rid of this thing because I'm so proud of it. I love it so much. And the bubble puff stitch sort of bag that I have, I do have a tutorial for that. I understand there's kind of like a red, white, and blue, like Americana thing happening uh, when you put those things together, but I don't feel like it reads so much as that, as much as it reads sort of like sporty business. So I don't know. You, you, you tell me what you think. The next one is another simple one, and this is a skirt one because it's literally skirt shirt. <laughs> uh, I love this skirt. Again, this is of the two skirts that I have made and this one is like a wintertime skirt specifically. I love this skirt. I wanted to wear it this past winter and then I put it on and it was too short and I was like, oh no. So I made this like little ruffle around the bottom to sort of like lengthen it and then I added a little bit more. I don't know. It's, it's a really cute... It's a cute little skirt. I will put up the reference photo that I use for it because for a lot of these things, I really did like use a reference for it. And this one in particular, I used a very specific reference and I think it turned out pretty good. And I got to add in some cool little stitches in there. And of course with this one, we have the big bow bag that everyone continues to ask me to make a tutorial for. And I keep telling them, hey, there's like, there's somebody who actually made a pattern for this. If you want to like view their pattern, like I'm leaving the link there because I really don't want to make another tote bag tutorial when you could easily just like make a tote bag and then just add the bows to it. The next one is one that I could totally see myself wearing. Like some of these I'm like, oh, I don't know where I would wear that. But this one I could definitely see myself wearing this summer at some point. It features this top and yes, I know it's made from the same yarn as the dress because I had so much left over. Like you understand, I was cleaning these dollar stores out trying to find this because it was a very specific color I wanted to use for a project and yet I just didn't end up doing it. But yeah, it's just like a little bralette with kind of like a little ruffle at the bottom. You could call it a peplum. I don't know if I really call it that. I really like it because it has this corset back so I can like cinch it in if I want to. Definitely one of my better tops, but it's just this with a black flowy skirt and then this oversized black denim jacket. I love this jacket. I put it over everything whenever I go out a lot. Like if I go out somewhere, and I like don't want to carry a bunch of junk with me, I will normally just wear something giant that has giant pockets and put all my things in it. But of course I just paired uh, some simple sneakers with it and these ones are a little bit, like they have a little bit of lift to them. And this really old bag that I made, like I'll see if I can find the reference photo, but this is from a long time ago. I love to scout Yes Style to try to get ideas for things to make or things that I want to make because like in the same way that Pinterest is where like you can look at a lot of different things you can like get inspiration from things that already exist that's what I do I like to look at yes style especially anyway it's just very old work and I don't feel comfortable selling it and I don't really I don't know it's, it's cute it's cute next we have this guy I'll see if I can find the OG photo of it, of what it looks like on the roll, but I love this little yarn chicken piece. Most of my pieces are yarn chicken pieces, and it's reversible so it doesn't matter which side you wear it, but it's super soft. It's that um, chenille yarn, I think. It's something of that sort, so you can guess that it's very soft. It's very heavy as well. Uh, great for fall. I made it this past fall, loved it. But I just made a little shaggy outfit out of this and I paired it with some brown pants and I also, it was kind of going for like a 70s look as well because I also paired my brown like fuzzy moccasins. You can't see like the fuzzy part of it but I would totally wear this all together plus that bear bag that I was talking about that has all the different pieces on it uh, that I love so much and I just think it all goes together with the browns and greens and just being neutral. That's fun. The next piece is one that I always see people making it. So I decided to make my own and now I'm just like, why did I make this? But also it's really cute and I don't feel comfortable selling it, but I don't really want to take it apart. I don't know. It's like a weird piece for me. It's this multicolor cropped mesh top. 
I think it's really cute. I made it with, you know, yarn that changes color pretty abruptly. I made it with sort of the back being pinky and purpley and the front being purple and then the arms being blue and with the addition of, you know, some yellow and pink. And this is one of those things that I feel like has to be a statement piece, so I paired it with that same skirt from before. Uh, honestly, you could pair it with like any skirt. I've paired it with like a tight mini skirt. I think that's cute too, but just in black, wearing black underneath it, and of course just black accessories. So the black sandals again and the like a black bag. And the final outfit is really just accessories. So I made this like cute little sort of winter looking outfit and I paired this really cute pink cat ear beanie with it with this just extremely soft pink yarn and of course the bow bag as well as this cute little scarf that I made that I had been working on for a really really long time. So this scarf was one that I had planned on making a tutorial for it because when you put it around your neck there's like a little hole here that you can put the other end through so you can kind of make it like cross over but you can also put it underneath and wrap it around so you can make that just the end of it um, and I think that that looks really cute too on uh, but I was struggling to figure out what I wanted to put on top of it where uh, the bow is because I could have just left it but I wanted to put something there and I kept trying different things with different yarn and finally I just settled on this cute little bow because I'm in the coquette moment so it's like this off-white sort of ecru color. That is the last outfit. I'm going to quickly sort of go through the other stuff that I didn't talk about. Most of these are accessories, but some of them are articles that like either I just made so I don't have an idea of what to do with them yet or they are ones that are sort of obvious how you would pair them or they just have a very specific purpose so you'll you'll notice when I talk about them. The first one is this beautiful pink sort of ruffle peplum top. It is so cute, so princessy. It's made with baby yarn and uh, like, I don't know what kind of yarn this is, but it's a little bit smaller. Again, this is one I just made, so I don't have anything to pair it with yet, but it's super cute. The next one is this cardigan that you guys have seen in a past video, I believe. Uh, I've worn it before. It's made of that like really fluffy yarn, so it's super heavy and it's super soft and comfy. Uh, this was another cardigan. Again, like you can literally just throw this on over anything that matches in like color or style, so. The next article of clothing is a sweater that, for one, I love so much, two, is very heavy and very warm, and three, it seems like, again, you could just wear this with jeans. There's nothing special about it in regards to styling it. <laughs> I forgot that this was inside out. Let me turn it right side out so it actually looks right. It has little hearts on it to represent the strawberries because tariki means strawberry and it's a milk carton so it's tariki uu wow tariki uu guyu tariki uu tariki tariki uu so yeah it's just super cute super fun i love this lastly for clothes is just a bikini top it's not really anything special. It's just this like sort of ashy green color. Again, it's nothing special. It's made out of a yarn that's sort of almost like a t-shirt type of material, so it's super comfortable. Now for the accessories that I didn't talk about. This one is one I believe you guys have seen. I have a tutorial for it. It's just ye old cat ear beanie with stripes. I also have a second one that's double-sided, has stars on it. I also have some bucket hats. I have, well, bucket beanies, so I made these in the round instead of side to side like some beanies. So uh, this one, I made it for Halloween one year, and I made one for my nephew at Easter. It's nice and beige. 
But on the opposite end, I also have a uh, bunny. I'll see if I can find the reference photo for this one as well um, because I thought this was really cool and I had the right colors for it. So it's kind of giving like a Blue's Clues vibe and I, I kind of like it. This one is like one of those hats that has like the little side ear thingies on it. Um, it's made in the round and these are in the middle so they do cover your ears but they also like don't come back very far. It's actually not bad, so I really like how this turned out. It's really great for like, sort of a wintry, outdoorsy vibe. But also maybe you're in a K-drama and you live out in the country. I don't, I don't know what your life is. The last hat that I have is one that I just made. It's made from this white cotton. It's a little bucket hat. I know, it's not like, it's not like amazing on me or anything, but it is cute. It is cute. I've been seeing a lot of bucket hats that kind of look like this. Um, yeah, let me know what the vibes are. Because <laughs> I'm trying to figure out like what vibes these are giving me and I feel like if somebody tells me it's gonna ruin it, but it's okay. <laughs> I also have a couple of bags that I've made that I have kept for myself either because they'd be too expensive or they're just so weird that I don't know who'd want them. So the first one is this little ribbon bag. I did not realize that ribbon is so expensive, so it would be too expensive to put in my shop for me, uh, in my opinion, but it's super cute. It's like navy, it's got these little bows on it. A little lining it doesn't have a closure yet I haven't decided on that um, and then it's got these like off-white sort of almost bluish pearls on it for the handle I don't know it's really cute it's classy she's classy on the other end of the spectrum I made a water bottle holder that looks like a corn it looks like a corn cob so it's it's really fun. It can hold like a really big water bottle because um, it was for my like, I don't know if they're called Nalgene or Nalgene, but those water bottles, it'll hold one of those. Um, I made it for mine, but the lining is corn. That's the best part to me. That's really the best part, so. I believe that's all of the crochet clothing and accessory items that I've made for myself. Of course, I've made many other crochet things like crochet cat toys and I have a lamp that I sort of made and I just, I have a lot of different things that I have made uh, for myself that I, I just didn't really share at the time. I'm really bad about sharing uh, these things so I thought that I would do that here today because uh, for one, I get a lot of questions if I do post anything and two, I just wanted you guys to know I wanted to have a little like show and tell and so that's this but I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one